This is a complete guide to connecting the TP-Link N300 range extender to your home Wi-Fi network. Before start connecting, make sure that your extender is plugged in into the power socket and the power and wireless LED signals are glowing solid green. Also, check if your router is connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi and the router and the extender are close enough to each other to exchange the signals. And then you can start connecting and the first and the fastest method is connection via WPS. So you have to locate the WPS button on your router first. Usually it's on the back panel and it's labeled so you will easily find it. Press the WPS button on your router and then within two minutes press the padlock button on your extender. Now you see the third LED light is activated and this is range extender indicator. And now you need to wait until the wall circle to start glowing solid green. And when it's finally happened, you can check your connection in your Wi-Fi settings on any gadget. So you will see new Wi-Fi network, which is named the same as your router's Wi-Fi network, but with the EXT abbreviation added at the end. EXT is stand for uh, extender. So now you can connect to the extender network and then you can relocate your extender somewhere to Wi-Fi dead zone, but be sure that it's in the router's range. Uh, you can check it uh, by the signal indicator. So if the signal is too weak, if only a couple of segments are glowing green, you, you need to move the extender closer to your router. Uh, that's it. WPS is fast and easy. The method number two is my favorite. This is connection using the Tether application by TP-Link. Uh, so go to your respective application store, get the TP-Link Tether application. It looks like this. Then open the application. And if you don't have a TP-Link ID yet, you have to create the TP-Link ID. It's easy. You will be required to enter your email, then to create password and then to confirm your email address by clicking the link in the letter. Uh, but I already have the TP-Link ID, so let me just log in. And now you can add new devices, um, but no devices found. This is because we are connected to another Wi-Fi network. I'm connected to my router now and I have to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi extender. So I need to go to the Wi-Fi settings and look for TP-Link extender and connect to this network without password so, so far. And now let's go back. It should be automatically detected. Yes, but if not, you can to tap on this plus button, tap on add range extender, make sure that you have LEDs solid on and tap on this button and rescan your room for the extenders. And now you're asked to set device password. Now select the 2.4 gigahertz wireless network you want to extend. My router's name is my Wi-Fi uh, and I have to select my router and enter my current Wi-Fi password. Keep in mind that this is the single band extender so uh, it doesn't work with five gigahertz bands. So if everything is correct, you can tap on next, and then you can rename your extenders network. Mm, if you wish so, I will stick with default for now. Tap on next and the settings are applying. And as before, we will see the full circle glowing. That's it. Now we are on the screen of location confirmation. So on this step, you can unplug the extender and plug it in somewhere in Wi-Fi dead zone, but follow their recommendations on this screen and relocate your extender where you need to where you need. Uh, now connect to your Wi-Fi. Let's go back to the smartphone's Wi-Fi settings. Let's find our new network, which is named same as our 
routers network but with EXT as before. It's connected. Let's see what's going on in the application. We're logging in. No internet. I don't believe that. Let's tap on this and everything is fixed. So now you're connected and you can, ma can manage your extender in this application. There is a lot of settings here, but let's move ahead. And of course you can connect any extender through your web browser and this one is no exception. So first of all, let's connect to this extender's Wi-Fi network. Go to the Wi-Fi networks list in your Mac or PC. Find the TP-Link extender network. Click on that. Click on connect. Wait for a connection to be established. Be patient. It may take up to 30 seconds. That's okay. TP-Link extender. Now open your browser. Click on the search bar and type the following IP address. 192 dot zero one nine two dot zero dot sorry one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot two five four and then press enter it takes you to the login page now we'll log in to the admin panel and we have to create new password click on the eye icon to see what you type in it will be simple so far login So uh, now we just have created password and after password creation we have to log in. So now we are in the quick setup mode and we have the list of our Wi-Fi networks. My router's name is my Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz. So I have to click on this name, type in my current Wi-Fi password, click on next, confirm if everything is okay and if I wish to rename my network I can rename it this time let me do this let's click on next and as before now we can relocate our extender but don't forget to make sure that you locate the extender within the rotors range to get the best signal. Uh, now let's click on done and we can connect to the extended network. Let's go to the Wi-Fi networks list and find our extended network and connect. The password is the same as for our main network. Click on next. Connected, secured. Let's go back to the browser tick the checkbox I have connected to the extended network and let's finish now we can log in to our control panel and manage the extender from here and write down this address this address is how how do you enter the control panel that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye guys.